welcome to the channel IT Simplified. This video is number two in the series of Azure. In the first one, I showed you how you can utilize Azure Backup Services uh, to backup your VM running in uh, Azure environment. And in today's session, I will show you how you can restore a specific file and folder from the backup set that we created uh, in the part one. So if I go to my recovery service vault and uh, expand it, and go under monit monitoring and reports and under jobs you will see that uh, the virtual machine which is file server with was backed up successfully so what i'm going to do is let me just go into the rdp of this file server and uh, you can see that uh, the computer name is fs and expand the c drive of this uh, machine i have a folder with the name accounting and I also have one text document in this one in which I have uh, some hardware and software information. So what I'm going to do is I will completely delete this from my uh, server and uh, see if we are able to retrieve this from the backup set that we have. So let me go to recycle bin and empty this just to double sure that it is completely removed. And... Uh, Go to my recovery service vault and under the usage go to virtual machine and uh, pick my file server and this i have the option of uh, file recovery so i'm going to pick this and uh, it is asking me for the recovery point so i only have one recovery point which i created last time so i'll pick that and I will download the executable so it will download the script which we need to run in the PowerShell so let me just download this and it will also generate the password which we need to input into the PowerShell So I'm going to right click and uh, run this as an uh, administrator and uh, select yes. So it will open a PowerShell uh, window and it is asking me for the 15 character password. So let me grab this from here. So it is connecting to the recovery point using iSCSI service and connection was succeeded and it is asked me to wait till it will so as you can see that it automatically opens the file explorer on my on the computer from where I'm connecting so you can see that uh, it uh, connects to the local disk F and it will uh, generate whatever I have on my uh, uh, we had in that backup set so you can see that the accounting folder is here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and just uh, paste this on my desktop so this is the folder that we are trying to retrieve so let's go back to the Was completed successfully it still asked me to attach the volume of the recovery point it is already attached so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to my RDP onto my computer and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna uh, paste this folder that we are trying to restore so you can see that the accounting folder is restored so if I go inside this folder I also have the inventory list which I had uh, initially so with this we have uh, successfully uh, restored our folder what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out of this and uh, this successfully completes and we need to unmount the disk uh, that we had uh, mounted onto our local computer just to complete this procedure but this uh, uh, gives you an idea about how you can restore a specific file and folder 
uh, from the backup set that we have created by utilizing the Azure Backup Services within Recovery Service Vault. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.